when I was studying, I was watching a lot of videos from other people and it was helpful. So hopefully someone will find this helpful. And also good luck, happy new year. So let's get started with this video. I don't want this to be extra long. So I was in a accelerated nursing program. My program was 15 months. Um, I graduated December 2nd of last year and I took the test January 11th of this year, 2022. And um, I wrote down the things I wanted to mention because I tend to forget. Okay, so um, I studied for four weeks. Um, I will insert a picture of my study plan. It kind of looks like this, but a lot shorter because this was uh, my plan at the beginning and then I made a lot of changes. So I'll put a picture here so you guys, you guys can see like all the breakdowns and what I did each day in detail. Okay, the resources I used, I used Hearst Review and U World Question. Um, for U World, I bought the one with a 60 day with one assessment because I knew I wanted to take it within those two months. So I didn't see the point of um, buying the three month. So I bought that. And then when I started U World the first week, I felt like I didn't know enough content. So I was looking up a bunch of random vi reviews um, and I found Hearst Review. Let me see. This is the, when you buy Hearst Review, they'll send you a workbook. You kind of watch their videos and then go along and fill out all the um, like blanks. It was helpful for me because I felt like I didn't know enough content. So this was a great content review for me. But I feel like people who feel comfortable with the content, I don't see the point of buying a Hearst because I honestly did not use any of the questions from Hearst uh, review. I only used their videos for content and then the workbook. It was very helpful. And then New World, I um, did about 1700 questions. I was at 52 percentage but honestly I'll like talk about that at the end but the percentage don't don't look at that and then don't feel discouraged like I did at first and then um what else did I use oh I used Mark Clement so I I didn't go to his review but I bought I didn't buy it um, my sister-in-law she's a nurse so she went to his review and she had this two workbook uh, his blue book and the yellow book and she um, gave this to me for review she went to the review she filled out everything um, I went on YouTube even if you guys don't have the workbook you can find notes um, videos on YouTube with the notes so it's very helpful um, so I went through all these um, videos I made sure I watched all of it because it was very helpful he gets to the point so it's you don't feel overwhelmed with all the informations and then with the blue book it's more of like a fact question Q&A because it has a question and then the answer I didn't really go through the whole book but I skimmed through it the first few pages it was helpful because uh, it was more of like a maternity which is my weak point so I went through I will take this to the gym when I do cardio and I'll just like read through the pages um, I did this like towards the last week of my um, study plan and those three are the only things I used um, what else okay so I'll give like some of the tips I would give you guys will be when you do your your world question bank don't get hung up on the percentage of which like how many you guys are getting right or how many you guys are getting wrong because honestly I was getting a low score but I made sure I read all the rationales that's the most important thing because when you're reading the rationales you kind of like you're processing your mind and thinking about oh like why is this quite why is these answers wrong and why is this right so like you're you're learning while you're doing the questions which is the point of you all you're learning so you can pass the NCLEX and um, for her review I feel like if you know the content as I said I don't see the point of buying her review because honestly I didn't use their question bank I just watched their videos and then um, I think those are the only like the top tips I would give you guys read the rationales if you're using um, you world and then um, write down notes oh, wait, let me show you guys so I would write down the rationales that I feel like that's important or uh, things that keeps popping up 
So I will write it down. I didn't write all the rationales down because it honestly it's very time consuming. So this is like the things that I wrote down like a note. I wrote down the things that were important or like things that I had no idea about. Um, I think that's it. So my my journey was four weeks. I took the assessment two days before and then I decided to take the test because I moved my um, exam up by three weeks because I felt like I wasn't learning anymore after four weeks so I just thought okay let me take the assessment and see how I feel and the assessment I got a very high chance of passing so I decided to change the date um, three weeks ahead of my schedule and then took it and I passed thank god um, it's such a relief but um, when you guys go in and take the test after the test it's I feel like it's very common to feel like you did not pass which was how I was feeling because I came out of a person you know, the testing center and thought I failed but um, you know I did the Pearson view trick the like the credit card thing and I got a good pop-up and then after 48 hours I did the I paid for the quick result and then I passed um, I'm very grateful um, one last thing, if you guys uh, want a typed version of Mark Clement's lecture, I can post that in a PDF form so you guys can download it. Just let me know if any of you guys are watching. And um, that's it and good luck. You guys got it. Don't get hung up with the number of questions you did because you know that's not important. Once you pass, you pass. Okay, happy new year and good luck.